Afternoon everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Going for a productive day today, uh, following uh, a bit of uh, gardening and trying to do some other videos to now doing a bit of a DIY uh, wildlife video. So um, yeah, going to make a bird box, but uh, not any bird box. Going to try and make a sparrow terrace box. So. Uh, it does have four rooms. I've got my helper today as well. So uh, I'll spin the camera around and show you what we're doing. So there's my helper. Hey. And this is what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. well, this afternoon, so rough sketch out to create a sparrow terrace. So rather than a normal bird box, which consists of essentially one small box and one entry point, uh, sparrows like living together so we're going to make it extra long so it has four rooms exactly so it has four rooms for the um, the sparrows to nest in because for each family to nest in each family thank you because they like nesting as a colony um, so they're quite uh, sociable little birds so that's what we're going to do first off we're going to measure out some lengths of timber and get all those pieces cut and What's then timber? uh, timber's wood, another oh. name for wood. So we get all the pieces cut out and then we can start to um, join it together. So as always, uh, I do the marking and cutting, show you where we're at and then uh, next stages as we uh, progress. So we've now done the main structural cutting. So we've got couple of pieces of um, five bits of wood five bits of wood thank you two pieces for the backs so they will be like so we got the roof panel and then front and base panel so at the moment we've got the uh, say the main structural pieces done what we then need to do is we'll screw the front panel to the base and once you've done that you will then know how big you uh, need to make the side panels. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. So I've got the helper just to hold the drill for the time being. So um, you've got to make your pilot holes and then put your screws in. And so we're just screwing the base and the front panels together. So as you can see, we've screwed the front and base panels together. Uh, or to one another I should say. Now you need to work out the size of the side panels you need to do so um, you can create those so that gives you a, about a 12 centimeter high section of timber um, so it'd be 12 centimeters high by 15 centimeters wide so we can actually cut one for that end, one for that end and then one for the middle. three dividers oh. which you then give you four nesting sections within the middle so you need five all of the same size so it's 120 millimeters or 12 centimeters by 150 millimeters or 15 centimeters so we can cut those now okay five sections cut one for each end three for internal dividers Top tip, use wood that's actually dry, otherwise it takes forever to try and cut through it with a handsaw. So like on what it just it just happens, don't you? Yeah, it did just happen. So now we're going to assemble it to get the ends and middle pieces onto the bottom and front panels. Okay, so we've uh, secured either end and then roughly right. positioned the middle ones. Um, so now screw. we just need to even it up with the tape measure and then... Screw these planks of wood to the rest. Or? That's it. Screw them to the backs and to the front. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so the sides and the internal supports are on. It's now screwed on. what we're going to do, we turn it over. And put a plank of wood on top and, and screw that and on top. This is going to form the, the back. 
So that needs to now be screwed into position. Um, when you've got it in place, excuse me, you your, drill your holes. you'll notice that we have an overhang on uh, both sides. Don't forget you've got the roof panel still to go on, but you still need an overhang, so a bit more of an overhang to be honest, um, an overhang so that you can then screw it into the uh, wall or fence that you're going to put it on. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a key thing. So anyway, let's get that uh, screwed in position so uh, you can see what I mean. So there you can see we've got the, the back panels on. They're all uh, nicely secure. Now we're back onto the front again and it's time to put the entrance holes in so we're going to need to do four entrance holes uh, I've positioned a mark um, quite high up on the box so um, when you come in so you got a 32 mil drill bit for um, uh, sparrows so when you come in it's going to be nice and high up to the top so one that gives you a good amount of depth for having a nest in but also it means that it's going to make it really difficult for larger predators to then get into the, the top of the box. So um, yeah, so uh, basically the instructions for this are on the uh, RSPB um, website. So I'll, uh, I'll try and find those and add the link to the video. But so that's the that's the rationale for position anyway. So next thing is to yeah uh, drill the holes for the entrances once uh, once they're done and we can clean out then we'll put the roof on okay so i've got the four entrance holes drilled they're all done uh, being roughly cleaned up um, which is why i tend to leave the top of the nesting box off obviously you want to have access to all the uh, wood that drops out at the same time uh, drilled four drainage holes per uh, nesting box section so again that's just going to help to uh, well it will drain a little bit of stuff out but more than that it'll, it'll help to um, provide aeration for the box um, and then drilled the uh, the top holes for um, where you can then fix it to the roof so last last thing so I'll just set that out so we just set the box there so the last thing is literally roof panel um, to fix the roof panel down so then that uh, that will fit on nice and secure um, and what I what I tend to do just uh, give it a slight slight gap so only a few millimeters at the back uh, again it's just going to allow for um, some of the uh, moisture um, fumes whatever you like to to come out the top there uh, won't get too much um, damp in there uh, actually going down because it'll be protected under the uh, house roofs but uh, it'll give you a little bit of overlap to the front which will stop any water just dripping straight into the hole so um, yeah time to screw that down there you have it all finished a house sparrow terrace nurse, um, nesting box all complete um, all used from recycled wood uh, essentially old um, uh, panels from um, fencing gravel boards and a bit of old pallet wood so that's all complete, just uh, all that's left now is to hang it on the wall and um, wait for the birds to come and nest in it. So uh, yeah, little job done. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you uh, like what I'm doing, please subscribe, send me any messages. Uh, yeah, it'd be great to see some of the uh, little builds that you're doing. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep having fun, either in your garden or doing the little DIY jobs. Um, yeah, till the next video. See you then. Bye.